Hello guys, I want to show you how to improve the rig uh, just a bit to make it more manageable and for polishing and all other stages. I will do this uh, on the many, but you can do it for any rig you, you have. So uh, let's take many, and as you see, our many split it in several parts. Head, body, arms, legs, fingers. And if we remove fingers, yeah. Walk, leg, uh, kind of, only calves. And arm the same, only four arms. But body, it's whole body. That's not what I want, for example. I want to separate the parts. And it's easy to do. Uh, it's uh, better to start in point controller mode and for example uh, I want to have the hips only hips these three yeah and I will create the tracker call it hips and this button allows me to add object to track just press this button and we can check yeah it's there so for torso i want probably this and this yeah again add track call it torso torso okay here we go, torso, and again, add object to track, here we are, if we check, torso, yeah, hips, torso, nice, now what to do with the arms, cause when you uh, turn off the arms, they are still appear here, so we want to hide them totally. For, for instance, I prefer work like this. And it's better to go to the uh, joint mode and select this one. Uh, select your arm. It's the left arm for money. Uh, yeah, select your arm and add object to track. Here you are. Select this one. For right leg and add object to track. Yeah, nice. And we need to select everything from here. Go to legs. The same with the legs. Leg. Okay. Select leg. Add. Uh, it's a. It's a right leg. Yeah. I'm wrong. It's right. Uh, and again, add object to track. Let's check yeah and for left leg yep and left leg select it add object to track here we are sweet so now we have our money that we can make more manageable for polishing stage for instance uh, we want to hide everything but the leg so easy to do hide fingers arms uh, torso head and we have only legs to watch all the trajectories to all our arcs to improve them and to work with them but uh, if you have existing animation in that case it will doesn't work uh, uh, but you can like a copy animation for instance here we have animation and only way that it's uh, possible to copy it's to point controller mode like this you need to select everything uh, we have I guess 100, 121 frame as I remember correctly 
124. Uh, you can select uh, a bit more. That doesn't matter. More important to select uh, the more than you have in your original animation. For example, here is 121, and you can select here. Select all your animation, and now oh sorry, uh, go to the file not edit, uh, go to the edit, copy interval, it's copy your interval, after that go to the, the new menu, uh, edit, uh, past interval, and here you are, sort of animation, but maybe as you see we don't have fingers, in that case we have no chance to get the fingers here, because uh, when I try to copy this in any other mode, it doesn't work. For example, it not work in the box controller mode, it doesn't work even in joint mode. It's become very weird. But for them who has professional version, there are another way to do this. And it's possible just to retargeting. Go to your menu, select everything, edit, retargeting copy and to another menu and retargeting past and in that case you will have also fingers animation and you see previously past interval as you see there are no finger animation Everything works. Uh, we can check, by the way. Uh, to check, we can just press our original file with Shift, and we link the booth scene. And to select our menu to make him more visible, we can go to the mesh selection and click. Uh, and this menu is orange, and another menu is gray. So, and as you see, yeah. Uh, Everything works but the fingers. Fingers doesn't work in that case. So, but anyway, it's more manageable and it's easy to work with. So, before you animate something, it's better to create these uh, additional tracks, add some points, and you will have very nice prepared for animation rig. So, I hope it was helpful. And see you on the next video, guys. Bye.